Hey, what's up? I'm Eric, and I'm gonna teach you the C chord. Now, in this lesson, I'm assuming that you already know the string names, and the finger numbers, and the frets. If not, I'm gonna go over real fast, but if you don't have it, go to another video to check that out. Good, chefs, eat always, G, C, E, A. One, two, three, four, those are your fingers. One, two, three. Today we're gonna use the third. Frets, one, two, three. Head is zero, one, two, three. For the C chord, we're gonna use our third finger. Remember to put your thumb on the back of the instrument, like Michelle from Full House. You got it, dude. You can put that on the back. Oh, actually, we're gonna put super glue on it and glue it to the back so it doesn't come off because you need this here. It might slide around a little bit. I'm, I'm being a little dramatic, but a lot of people, they put the thumb way up here over top and then everything comes up. You want everything to come down. So my thumb's on the back there and then I have lots of space for harder chords. Which you'll be to We're gonna take our third finger. One, two, three. Put it on the third fret. One, two, three and then slide it down to the bottom string, that's the A string. Good chefs eat a lot, A. And you're pushing into the wood like you're gonna drill a hole all the way through it. You don't wanna pull down, because you might make a sound, or you might bend the note, and it's, that's not what we wanna do until we're really rocking out. So you can just push straight through. Some of my students complain, ow, oh, it hurts my fingers. Okay, well take, you know, take your time, don't hurt yourself, but you're not gonna hurt yourself. It's just gonna be a little uncomfortable. And eventually, if you keep at it and you stay strong, you'll get some calluses. Like when you walk barefoot in the summertime and you get the calluses on your on your feet. Anyway, I've told you where to be and now I'm just running my mouth, blah, blah, blah. And I'm trying not to do that. I wanna make these videos quick. This is my first one. I think I'm doing okay. I think you're doing okay. I bet you're on C by now. And we're gonna strum that C chord, making sure that we're pushing really hard. Actually, before we strum, before we strum, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just take our thumb and put it on that bottom string, because that's where our finger is. And we're just gonna make sure that sounds good. If it doesn't, then you're not pushing down hard enough. And that might take some time to get that, that finger strength. When your thumb's on the back, you can push from this side as well. So you're kind of working from both sides of the instrument. Make sure you're on the third fret. One, two, three, not up here. Sometimes fingers slip too and you didn't know it. So make sure you're on the third. And then all we're gonna do is strum all of them. I like to strum with my finger. A lot of my strumets, a lot of my students strum with their thumb. Whatever's comfortable for you. But that's our C chord, third finger, third fret, A string. What I recommend to practice is play it, take it off, leave your thumb on, Thumb still on the back, it's glued. Remember we glued it, it'll come off, it's water soluble. Third finger, third fret, strum, off, on, strum, off, on, strum, off, on, strum. I'm gonna count to four. And you're gonna strum on one, take it off, and then try to get it back on by my next one. Okay, there's a little exercise to get you there quick so you can memorize it and get used to playing it. One, two, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. One, and two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Cool. So if you were kind of with me on that one, and you were feeling my groove and you were getting there, then you're doing great. If you're not, you're still doing great. Come on, you just started. Um, it's only been what, four minutes and 30 seconds? So keep at it every day, just a little bit every day. Just a little bit every day. Keep your ukulele out where you can see it. So you just grab it and say, oh, I play this thing. And then you put your thumb on the back and try that C a few times. And uh, I'll show you some more chords later and hopefully we can practice and jam together in my videos. That's all I got. I'll see you later. Practice hard, take breaks, go slow.